Get up and go with Duncan and Carly on demand. 6.9 KROC. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. It's the Get Up and Go Show. And today is... Today is National Good Neighbor Day. All right. Be a good neighbor. I don't know. Mow their lawn if they haven't in a while. <laughs> Something nice for them. Or just wave and say hi. Or that. It's also National Strawberry Cream Pie Day. Okay. National Sons Day. It's oh, just yeah, National Daughters, Daughters Day. Day a few days oh, ago. Oh, now i got to post a picture of my son. Yes, you do. I feel yes, that societal do. pressure to do I that. I know, <laughs> I know. And your favorite, National Drink Beer Day. Again. <laughs> again. We're celebrating beer again for the second time in like a couple of weeks. Every two weeks, it's National <laughs> Something Beer Day. Drink beer, have a beer. IPA Day. IPA Day, yeah. Beer Lovers Day. Yep. Uh, yeah. Not complaining. Love some beer. <laughs> Gonna have some beer. It's Thirsty Thursday. Woo! And you can celebrate. You can go buy a round for the whole bar when you win 30 grand. Coming up at 8 o'clock. 30 grand. Imagine what you can do with $30,000. Hi, this is Liza. Hey, this is Jonathan Romo, and I won cash. And I won cash. Ooh, baby. Dirty grand in your hand is on. Is on. Oh, yay. Thank you. The only notifications I have on my phone is for your app. <laughs> Thank you. Listen weekdays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. for codes to win cash. Tap them into our app, and you're instantly entered to win up to 30 grand in your hand. Get full rules and details now on our site and app. It's Duncan and Carly. I have the top five most unwanted gifts that people receive. Uh, books. <laughs> I'm going to just go ahead and give myself I'll a bell. I'll give you number one, bad romance novels. Oh, who's given a romance not like would To women, they'll be like, oh, you're a lady. You're going to love this. And then <laughs> she's like, no. I'm trying to think if I would ever give a romance novel to anybody in my life. Really? Never to you. That would be awkward. <laughs> never to like my Aunt Judy. That would be awkward. <laughs> and probably never to my wife. Does your wife like that kind of stuff, though? No, nah, not really. Yeah, see, like, so, yeah, there you go. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, top five unwanted gifts. Mm -hmm. uh, any like uh, exercise equipment. Cooking equipment. Um, clothes. <laughs> Socks and underwear not on the list. No. Okay. Um, I think you've got. Do you have three? Yeah. Or do you have two? No, I struck out. Okay. <laughs> so the top five most unwanted gifts that people receive, according to the New York Post, number five is kids' toys. My thought there is like if somebody gives you a kid's toy that you had when you were a kid or something that's nostalgic and they're like, you'll love it. And you're like 30 and you said no. Or also <laughs> like you just have people like when your kids have a birthday, like everybody <laughs> wants to give them toys. And or it's like, that. hey, we don't need any more toys. They have enough toys. Yes, exactly. Number four is <laughs> you're going to hate this one. Soap on a string. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that since one of my uh, husband's college roommates had one. <laughs> Why people have them or give well, them as Well, in college, in a dorm, you don't want to drop the soap. That makes sense. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> yeah, that's a weird I, gift. I don't know. Number three is a car manual. Or I also took that as a book yeah, like that a tells you... Car the dummies for books. dummies. Yep. Yes, exactly. Okay. Number two is a diet plan or a diet book. Okay. And then number one, bad romance novels. Most unwanted gifts that people have received. Those are awful. Because they're all bad, yes. Who would do that? Uh, people who don't know you. Oh, yeah. Just stick with candles. <laughs> you can't go wrong with candles. <laughs> Here's the number one sign I don't know you. <laughs> it's a vanilla candle. Oh, I still can't get over side tangent still can't get over a former co-worker who had me as a secret Santa got me a candle I love candles I wouldn't be mad about it but it was like he didn't open the thing and smell it because it smelled awful <laughs> it was just dog ass just terrible you gotta smell the candle if you're gonna yes. get a candle <laughs> <laughs> All right, let us help you. Christmas is coming. Let us help you do that shopping and get some awesome gifts for the people on your list. We've got 30 grand that we want to put in your hand with Tommy's Express Car Wash. 30 grand. Imagine what you can do with $30,000. Hi, I'm Kathy Menelenko. Hi, this is John. This is Jennifer Artel. And I want cash. Woohoo! I won cash. 30 grand in your hand is on. Yeah! <laughs>
<laughs> I could certainly use that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Listen weekdays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. for codes to win cash. Tap them into our app and you're instantly entered to win up to 30 grand in your hand. Get full rules and details now on our site and app. That is awesome. You see it right here. Oh, for cute. The 106.9 KROC app just updated with new trending stories. Are we in spooky season or do we have to wait till October 1st? No, I say we're in spooky season. My husband says we have to wait till October 1st, so I'm Respecting that. I've started noticing uh, around my neighborhood some of the decorations are going up. Yes. I'm so excited to decorate. Are you going all out? Oh, yeah, that's the plan. Do but you have the inflatables? We don't have much, though, is the problem. We okay. do not have inflatables. If I can find a good deal, maybe I'll get inflatables. I've been thinking about going to buy some skeletons and putting them outside. And Some of you are all crazy. Like, some of those inflatables are like 200 bucks. I'm like, really? You're going to get know. this just for Halloween? Yeah. And then I, you're going to be stuck trying to store it all year? They fold up real nice. I need it's a 12-foot okay. pumpkin. No, you don't. Yes, yes, yes you do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anyways, uh... There's going to be all sorts of haunted attractions coming, mm -hmm. including the Trolley of Doom. The Trolley of Doom is back. And it stops at how many spots around town? It looks like there's 18 spots. 18 haunted spots around town. Yeah, that they're stopping at. Everybody maybe know, more. Everybody knows like Kaler is one of them. Are there That's any, true. Because of the elevator or something? There yeah, was like a girl, there was like a the, woman who stayed there. One and of the then, candy. She was involved with one of the candy companies. Yes. She was in town for Mayo, and then she got on an elevator and never got off of it. Was that what it was? I think so. I, I don't thought know. thought she got on the elevator, she left the building, and then was never seen again. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Something like that. I like that. the idea of her getting on the elevator and then disappearing. <laughs> that's creepier. <laughs> All right, so the Trolley of Doom is going to go to 18 different spots around town, and you're going to see ghosts. Do they promise you're going to see a ghost? Of course not. Are you <laughs> okay. <kidding? laughs> that, that's oh where it's at. Like, God. I want to see a ghost. If I'm paying to ride on this, I, I want to see a ghost. <laughs> hey, good morning, Kevin. Do you believe in ghosts? I know they probably aren't real, but a part of me thinks that they may be. I don't know. I'm on the fence about ghosts. <laughs> uh, I, see, here's my problem. The only time you hear ghost stories, it's like, oh, in the middle of the night, they were making all these sounds, right? Mm -hmm. You never hear like, oh, in the morning, they came and made my bed. <laughs> like, There's never like good ghost stories. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, I think it's very interesting, but I don't, I don't 100% believe. So the Trolley of Doom, like this tour though, mm -hmm. I think it's very interesting from a historical. Yes. I mean, because there's lots of cool stories. A lot of them are um, haunted historical places. Mm. So then they share the the history of the places that you're stopping at. They talk about the 9-11 hijacker that visited, uh, mm -hmm. the flooded nursing home. I think there's a lot of interesting information you're going to learn if you take this trolley tour. And you can find out more about it right now on the 106.9 KROC app. Duncan and Carly on 106.9 KROC. If you're just tuning in, this is coming up in one minute. It's Duncan and Carly's Celebrity Soundbite on 106.9 KROC. Travis Kelsey has finally broken his silence on Taylor Swift showing up to his game on Sunday. Shout out to Taylor for uh, for pulling up. It was definitely a game I'll remember. That's for damn sure. Um, and then we just slid off in the getaway car at the end. And of course, he was still vague about if they're dating. Fair enough, because... She is a very private person when it comes to that kind of stuff. And so if they are dating, he's being a good guy and he's respecting that. Well, now the rumor is she's going to be joining him at every game every Sunday, which what a distraction for the team. <laughs> like, <laughs> but she's going to be at New York this weekend. And I think the Chiefs play the Vikings later this year. So Ooh, could she be so showing up? Tay Tay might be back in Minneapolis. Oh, he also said that he thought it was uh, awesome that everyone in the suite with her thought she was great and only had great things to say, which was really cool. So I mean, it was pretty cool seeing her clean up afterwards. Oh, she, she was did. cleaning up That's the suite, so picking nice. up people's trash. Like, She's so nice. How obnoxiously <laughs> nice is she? <laughs> I really hope they're dating. I think they'd be cute. Mm, it looks like it, Carly. <laughs> I know, I know. I just hope it's true. <laughs> All right. In other news, Nick Lachey. So everybody's talking about In Sync, new mm -hmm. music on Friday. We're going to yes. be playing that song all day long. The Backstreet Boys, they raised their hand and said, hey, we want to go on tour with you, In Sync. <laughs> and Nick Lachey is now like, hey, remember 98 Degrees? 
We're still out there performing and, yeah. and doing shows. And, and honestly, it's, it's better now, I think, than it ever was. I think we appreciate it more now. Yeah. And finally, very sad news for Harry Potter fans. Michael Gambon, who played Dumbledore in all the Harry Potter movies, he died at the age of 82 after a bout of pneumonia. He died peacefully in the hospital with his wife, and son at his bedside, which is very nice. But, I don't know oh my gosh, anything so about Harry Potter, but I know that name. I know that's a big character, Double right? Dumbledore? Heck, yeah. It's very sad that he died. All right, here we go. Moving on. Turn that frown upside down. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the secret celebrity now, and it is her birthday. 507-281-2400. If you can tell us who this is, you're going to be entered to win a four-pack of Marcus Theater movie tickets. If someone calls me Lizzie one more time, <laughs> like, I'm going to backhand them. <laughs> I would not get this one. Really? No. If someone calls me Lizzie one more time, <laughs> like, I'm going to backhand them. If you are smart enough know, to know who it is, give us a call, 507-281-2400, and you could win the movie ticket. This is 106.9 KROC with Duncan and Carly. Bye, 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 bye. For years, we've been saying the world would be a better place if we could just get new music from NSYNC. This Friday... It's a better place. Hi, we're NSYNC. InSync, better place. From Trolls Band Together. Listen here for the premiere all day this Friday. The absolute worst tourist attraction in the world. Oh, I think you've been to it. <laughs> That's funny. It's not Mount Rushmore, is it? No, but okay. I would put that up there. Okay. It's really cool. I don't know. I like Crazy Horse more, though. I think they're both really cool. And when you see them on TV, they're so, like, they're amazing and magnificent you, and huge. And then you get there and you're like... Yeah, you thought they were going to be more majestic than they were. I mean, they're majestic, just not <laughs> as majestic as I thought. Yes, you're right. <laughs> I was disappointed. Um, is this something in the U.S.? Yep. Okay. Is it... What is it? It's like Central Station or something like that in New York City. Nope. Okay. Um, what do they call it? Grand Station in Central ooh, Park? Ooh, 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 that might be right. I think that's what that it might is. might be right. Um, the absolute oh worst tourist attraction in the world. What me, is it? Give me one more guess. Um, is it the Mall of America? It is not the Mall of America. <laughs> okay. <laughs> also, kind of disappointed when I went to that. <laughs> Uh, the worst tourist attraction in the entire world is the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <gasps> really? Yeah. Have you been there? Yeah, I, have. I know you went to Hollywood. Yes. You checked out the sign. Yes. And then the Walk of Fame, which we did is go to the just walk a of sidewalk. Fame. Really? We went not really expecting too much, um, but we were still underwhelmed because it really, it's just a sidewalk. Mm-hmm. And there are cars driving along. Like, it's not like it's off on the side somewhere in a pedestrian-only area because it is L.A. we're talking about here. Yeah, so it's traffic. <laughs> it's just a basic sidewalk, and it goes it goes for forever. So question for you. You've yes. been there. You walked the whole thing. Yes. Did they rearrange the sidewalk based on level of fame? Mm. If you're Tom Hanks, you want your your little square to be mm-hmm. in a prime spot. You don't want to be at the end of the road. I You know, don't. that's where you put like dust and diamond. Screech goes at the end of the road. <laughs> Tom Hanks, Denzel, they get prime spot, right? I don't think that they do switch them. Or maybe they scatter them to keep people walking and searching for those big names. Yeah. That's probably what they do. Yeah. You know what's cooler? I can't remember what the what the building is called, but a, like across the street from the Hollywood Walk of Fame is um a spot where people have like their handprints and their footprints. Okay. And it has like what movies there were. So like, for example, all the Avengers have their handprints and footprints in the cement in front of this building. And it's really cool. Is it the Chinese theater? Yes. I think that's right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Good morning, Andrea. What's the worst tourist attraction you've ever been to? Um, I don't travel much. I, eh. Corn Palace. <laughs> I have been I have been to Corn Palace, yes. <laughs> did you did you enjoy it or did you think that that was kind of a tourist trap? Well, I was a kid so I think I enjoyed it. Oh, sure, that okay. makes sense. <laughs> I yeah. guess the first thing that popped into my head was like that wall drug. Oh, yes. Oh. Sure. <laughs> yeah. You see the billboards for it for like 400 miles and then you get there yeah. and you're like, yeah. "Wait, this is it?" <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. my gosh, buddy. So we're going to help you, Andrea. We're going to help everybody travel more. Go check out some of these awful tourist attractions. We've got 30 grand we want to put in your hand coming up at 8 o'clock. What is the worst tourist attraction you've ever been to, Carly? I just thought gosh. of mine. Okay, you go. What? Wall drug made me think of mine because mine is out in that direction. Uh, my grandparents took me to the Rodeo Hall of Fame in Cheyenne, in Cheyenne, Wyoming one year. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was like, what are we doing? None of us are into rodeo. Like, none of us live on a farm or ride horses or That's anything. really funny. Uh, we happen to be in Cheyenne, so we're going to the Rodeo oh, Hall of Fame. There you go. Um, I guess I went to, like, this museum one time in Iowa that was, uh, I think it was, like, a Mac- match sticks museum or something. <laughs> it was, like, different stuff built out of match sticks or or. It was like toothpicks or pop They build like little houses or something or like that. Like- yeah. I mean, they were little. They were huge. So like the fact that somebody did that was kind of impressive, but that was the whole thing. Yeah, that's one of those things. You just look at pictures online and you're you're good. And you're like, neat. All right, moving on. <laughs> All right, yeah. so what are people saying? The number one answer on our Facebook page is the Corn Palace. Yeah, easily. Um, there's an interesting one that I saw from a couple of people. Disney. Disney worst tourist attraction. Like Renee said, Disney, it was too hot and too much money. It is a lot of money. Yeah. And if you go at the wrong time of the year, then it is. Well, I mean, if hot. you're trying to save money, you're going to go in August. That's true. Most people are going in the winter because it's, yeah. it's Florida. It's nice, it's nice and warm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, I could see how it'd be hot. I could, swampy. See, I could see why people would have a bad time. However... I mean, when I, you guys went, you guys had a great time. It was the best week of my life. Yeah. My kids were getting along. My wife was happy. <laughs> Nobody was fighting. Like, it truly was the happiest place in the world or whatever they say. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. So, yeah, Disney is expensive. Let us help you pay for your family trip to mm-hmm. Disney. We've got 30 grand we want to put in your hand coming up at 8 o'clock. Why not? News or snooze with Duncan and Carly on 106.9 KROC. There's a new study by an app called My Fitness Pal, which is a diet tracking app. Okay, I think people know that app. That says that at-home workers eat more calories than people who go to work. <laughs> okay, yeah. I can... And it's because of snacking throughout the day. I think we all went through this with COVID. I don't think we needed mm. a study. <laughs> I got so fat during COVID during the first like three months when we had to work from home. Yeah. You're like not really moving that much. You could go have and the a snack refrigerator is right want. there. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Uh, they say that people who work from home eat about 2,752 calories compared to people who work at an office, 1,961 calories. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I only sne- I think that's accurate. I think so as well. But I don't think we needed a study there. I remember the first month of COVID, it was kind of good because my wife was home too. Uh-huh. She was making like charcuterie boards every day. Oh, and like, we're just like, I know it's great. Well, yeah, because you're just like, we got to do something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got fat. That's what we did. <laughs> the words to Bohemian Rhapsody are officially the most Googled song lyrics in the U.S. This is according to Google Trends searches between 2019 and 2023. I'm trying to think of that song. Like, I know the song, <laughs> but I can't think of the lyrics. <laughs> is that coming to you? No. Oh, my gosh. Mamma mia, mamma mia. Yeah, that's the only part that I've got in my head right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got to find <laughs> these lyrics. the song? Yes. Uh, that's funny. Because that's an old song. 1975 it came out. People are still Googling the lyrics. Oh, people love that song. Is this the real Oh, thank you, yes. Is this just just fantasy? fantasy? (laughs) We should record an album. Caught in a (laughs) landslide. No escape from from reality. reality. (laughs) (laughs) Everybody turned off the radio. (laughs) Okay. Um, The most searched metal song lyrics wise is Enter Sandman. Oh, Metallica. Sleep with mm-hmm. one eye open, <laughs> ripping your pillow tight. <laughs> Don't need most, to Google that one. The most searched uh, pop song lyrics is Michael Jackson's Billie Jean. Wow, all of these are old songs. Mm-hmm. That surprises but me. But iconic songs. Oh, yeah, super iconic. Yes. And finally, Taylor Swift has inspired a new condiment from Heinz. Okay. They're releasing a limited edition ketchup and seemingly ranch because she was spotted... Like eating ketchup, that's what they're calling it? Ketchup and seemingly ranch. Okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> she was spotted eating chicken with ketchup and ranch dressing during the Chiefs game on Sunday, 
only 100 bottles are going to be made of this ketchup and seemingly ranch condiment. <laughs> I don't have a problem with this. You don't? No. Like, really? Because people dip their chicken strips in ketchup. Uh-huh. And they also dip them in ranch. Not at the same time, though. Yeah, but if you've ever been to a, a football game uh-huh. and you get the chicken tenders, they're so dry. Okay. You, you go through your ketchup, and if there's this ranch there, you go through that. And if it mixes it together, I don't think it's going to be that. I think it'll be okay. See, I feel like the only appropriate thing to mix ranch with is, like, hot sauce. Marinara. Have you ever done that? It's so good with Marinara breadsticks. and ranch. It's so good with breadsticks. I've never done that. I am blowing everybody's mind right now. Do that right now. Go go get some breadsticks right now. Marinara and ranch. Uh-huh. Oh, amazing. <laughs> There you go. News or snooze for today. You can get more local news and find out what's happening around the area on the 106.9 KROC app. Duncan and Carly on 106.9 KROC. It's Celebrity Soundbites on 106.9 KROC. Travis Kelsey has finally broken his silence on Taylor Swift showing up to his game on Sunday. Shout out to Taylor for uh, for pulling up. It was definitely a game I'll remember. That's for damn sure. Um, and then we just slid off in the getaway car at the end. And, of course, he was still vague about if they're dating. Fair enough, because she is a very private person when it comes to that kind of stuff. And so if they are dating, he's being a good guy, and he's respecting that. Well, now the rumor is she's going to be joining him at every game every Sunday, which what a distraction for the team. <laughs> but, <laughs> but she's going to be in New York this weekend, and... I think the Chiefs play the Vikings later this year. So could she be showing up? Tay-Tay might be back in Minneapolis. Oh, he also said that he thought it was uh, awesome that everyone in the suite with her thought she was great and only had great things to say, which was really cool. I mean, it was pretty cool seeing her clean up afterwards. Oh, she She was cleaning up the suite, picking up people's trash. Like, She's so nice. How obnoxiously (laughs) nice is she? (laughs) I really hope they're dating. I think they'd be cute. Mm, It looks like it, Carly. (laughs) I know. I know. I just hope it's true. All right. In other news, Nick Lachey. So everybody's talking about NSYNC, new Mm -hmm. music on Friday. We're going to be playing that song all day long. The Backstreet Boys, they raised their hand and said, hey, we want to go on tour with you, NSYNC. (laughs) And Nick Lachey is now like, hey, remember 98 Degrees? We're still out there performing and and doing shows. And and honestly, it's it's better now, I think, than it ever was. I think we appreciate it more now. And finally, very sad news for Harry Potter. Potter fans, Michael Gambon, who played Dumbledore in all the Harry Potter movies, he died at the age of 82 after a bout of pneumonia. He died peacefully in the hospital with his wife and son at his bedside, which is very nice. But, I don't know oh my gosh, anything so about Harry Potter, but I know that name. I know that's a big character, Dumbledore? right? Dumbledore? Heck yeah. It's very sad that he died. All right, here we go. Moving on. Turn that frown upside down. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the secret celebrity now, and it is her birthday. 507-281-2400. If you can tell us who this is, you're going to be entered to win a four-pack of Marcus Theater movie tickets. If someone calls me Lizzie one more time, <laughs> I, I'm going to backhand them. I would not get this one. Really? No. If someone calls me Lizzie one more time, <laughs> I'm KROC. It's Duncan and Carly. In today's digital age, our camera rolls have become digital black holes where the stories behind our photos are getting lost. Mm. That comes from Andrew Latoon. I think that's how you say his name. He's with a company called Mixbook. Okay. Um, they take people's photos and turn them into photo books, like coffee table photo books. They take your family photos. And so you... Oh, I thought you meant he said, send me your, your photo uh, a gallery in your phone and we'll just print them all off and put them in a book because can you imagine (laughs) how many stupid pictures of my cats would end up in a photo album that I forgot that I had. (laughs) I mean, that's what they do. They say, take all of your vacation photos or whatever, Mm. compile them into a nice little file uh, folder and then send them to us and we'll make a book out of it. We'll make a really cool book, right? That is a good idea. Uh, it's a cool company, right? But they did a study, and they're, they're basically, these are photo people, and they're like, you guys are taking too many photos. Like, yeah. taking too many stupid photos. <laughs> how many? So they did a study, and they tried to figure out how many people, how many photos the average person takes in a year. In a year. Well, let me see how many I have in my... I have eight pictures of uh, a corset that I'm going to wear for a wedding. Okay. Um, That I do not need anymore. Nope. Because I sent it to the groom, and that's all he needed. <laughs> Um, okay, it's not as easy to find as I thought. I mean, gosh, every year. How many do you take a day? Oh, I have 1,200 
pictures. This year so far? No. Just on my camera roll. Okay. But I mean, gosh, I'm going to say people take a thousand a year. Double that. Really? 2,100 pictures a year is what the average person is taking. Wow. 2,100 pictures. You know, that's very possible because I do try to go back and delete things like those eight pictures of my corset that I yeah. don't need anymore. <laughs> so there's been plenty of those. So I guess I can see that. That's insane to me. That is insane. So do you know the most popular photos that people are taking? They're animals. Pictures of their family members. Okay. Number one. Okay. Selfies, number two. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Photos of pets, number three. There we go. Yes. That's all you have, right? Um, other than that corset, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Duncan and Carly in the morning on 106.9 KROC. Is it just me? Duncan and Carly. Weekday mornings on 106.9 KROC.